This is the fabled Markiplier Korean head idol. <laughs> I think this is rigged with explosives or some sort. Now you're gonna have to take that off. I have the perfect weight of this in this hand. Right, you ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Back off slowly. Take a Max. Ah! Chad! No! Ah! Hello, expeditionaries. I am Safari Man One. I'm Savari Man 2. <laughs> I recently robbed the grave of famous Korean Aztec tomb Markiplier. Markiplier's dead? <laughs> so I'm gonna give you the international drink of a country. It's the country's name. Ah! Why is there a man speaking from Bataille in that bush? I am immersed. Wait, I have a crossbow. <laughs> okay, we should kill him. Do not hunt the host, please. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you're gonna be given the international yes. drink. A drink that the country is known for, that they drink in their country. It's famous from there or? It's like VB for Australia. It's okay. like the, the, the one drink they're known for. After trying it, you're gonna have to point on the map. That's a map? To the country. What have we been using? That the drink is from. If you get it wrong, you have to drink unless you can answer a multiple choice trick a question about an interesting fact from that country. Do you remember anything he said? Nope. Roe is now pouring you a small glass of cachaça. It is the national drink of Brazil. Ooh. Oh. It is a distilled spirit made from fermented sugarcane juice. Oh, that, that sounds smells good. so sweet. It is also known as pinga or caninha. Oh, fuck. Is it bad? Security drink it? No. All alcohol is bad. I hate alcohol. Why am I on this show? Oh, Brazil motherfuckers built different. Okay, I must now ask you to point to Brazil on the map. Chad, do not look. I will not look. Someone keep an eye on Chad. Max, is that your final answer? Yes. Chad, please put a pin in it. Put a pin in it, fuck sucker. There we go. Okay, Chad has lodged his guess. Did he pick the exact same he spot? He did, he did. Are we both right? You were both correct. Oh! Yeah. Good work, Chad. Move over. How did you know that? Oh, I'm a bit of a fucking scientist myself. The winner will now be decided by trivia. Oh! This is a fucked up one to finish. Yeah, this to is start it off. bad one to start off with. Brazil is the world's largest exporter of what commodity? A. This. Copper, B, coffee, C, wheat, or D, gold. Russia is the biggest export of fuel. The rest of it comes from other places America has invaded. Now, kind of on the same bedrock seed, in Minecraft terms. <laughs> A lot of copper, coal, and iron comes from this seed. So maybe, eh? Eh? I'll lock in copper. You can go something else. I think Chad's fucking playing mind games. You're going to put a different thing down. Three, two, one, go. Okay, you're both correct. Oh, you fucker! <laughs> you tried to fuck me, you bastard! I almost wrote down copper for the record. Your next drink is the national drink of China. Okay. It is called Mao Tai. It is a distilled Chinese liquor made in the town of Mai Ta Mao, Ta Mao, Mao Tai in China's Guizhou province. This bottle costs $444. It's also the most consumed alcohol in the world. Is this shit that's used to clean floors? <laughs> Why is he pouring so little? This is good stuff. It looks like a pack of cigarettes. Ugh. Why does it taste like beans? Um, because it's made from fermented sorghum. It tastes like rotting beans. <laughs> oh, fuck! That shit's fu yeah. Bro, did you pour a little because of that reason? Can I pick first, Scott? You pick first, Chad. This is brewed right Right here. Chad, shut up. Max, please now submit yours. Okay. And don't copy him. I mean, I already picked my spot. Right here. Actually, it's brewed right here. It's brewed like Here, that. sorry. <laughs> shut up. Congratulations, you're both correct. Yes, Chad, we're fucking geniuses. Good work. Well, that exploration, man. China trivia. China is the world's most populous country. What is its current number of inhabitants? Is it A, 1 billion? B, 740 million? C, 2 billion or D, 1.4 billion? I'm confident in my answer here. Okay, please show your answers on three, two, one, go. Okay, you are both correct. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck is that? A D. Oh. Did you enjoy your Muay Thai? No, I fucking hate this shit. I don't know how it's so popular. Chad, why are we so smart? I don't know. Oh, what the fuck? This looks like someone I can get behind. Damn, Let's this shit's fruity. fruity. Your next drink is the national drink of Spain. It is called Sangria. Oh. Ah. So Sangria traditionally consists of red wine, chopped fruit, sugar, and sometimes other spirits. I wanted to consume this one anyway. Yeah, it's fine. most popular with tourists and not often consumed by locals, but it's commonly served at celebrations mm. and festivals oh, in Spain. Up, I will now 
teleport to Spain on the map. Don't look at me, Chad. I've seen where your eyes are going. That is my final answer. Max has selected his rendition of Spain. Check out my answer. That's America. Ugh. That's my guess. Good guess. I was like way off. You're incorrect. Max, please place your pin on your correct guess. Fuck! That's that pretty, is Spain. That was pretty close. Yeah. I'm happy to drink this one. Chad, so you don't have to drink that if you get it. the trivia I mean, right, but I, it seems like you kind of want to finish it. What's the trivia? I'm listening. Under EU regulations, only two countries are legally allowed to label their product as sangria. One is Spain. What is the other country? Is it A, Portugal, B, Mexico, C, Argentina, or D, Italy? If Max gets this right and Chad gets it wrong, Chad has to finish both drinks. All right, no complaints here. I kind of want it. It looks good. Show your answers on three, two, one, go. Chad, you are incorrect. Max is correct. Yeah! Can you tell me your thinking behind that? I thought for sure you'd pick Mexico. My thinking is, it's fucking right here. That's ah, Portugal. Ah, man, this motherfucker studied. I would not I have did. been able to tell anyone that. <laughs> no, I did, but I was surprised how much information that I could learn and retain. I probably would have said that was China yesterday. Chad, are you enjoying your fruit? Mm. Okay, your next drink is from Germany. This is uh, schnapps. Schnapps is a type well, of alcoholic oh, yeah, beverage that may take several forms, including distilled fruit brandies, herbal liqueurs, infusions, and flavored liqueurs. That smells like vanilla -y. Oh, that smells great. Guten Tag. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be sucking it. It just tastes like sugar syrup. That's good. Cool. That's kind of mm. fucked up. That Ew. tastes like, uh, what's the? Sugar syrup. Yeah, the syrup. What if someone said that was literally just Canadian maple syrup, I'd say, oh yeah. I got no idea where Germany is. Max, be honest, do you know exactly where Germany is? Fuck. I've become more powerful. Fuck. Than you. Wait, what's the villager say? Huh. Oh, I don't know. Wait, hang on. Chad, come on, just pick, bro. Shut up. I'm thinking. Max is sipping his drink. I'm bored. And this is Europe. <laughs> well, I mean, Europe. And then Scott, there's... what was that scoffing? <laughs> that was Chad gesturing to Africa as if it was Europe. What? No, it's not. Really? So, Stop. Uh, Say not, nothing I'm... at all. Russia hated fucking Chad, Germany. Chad, I'm about to snap to your neck soon. Germany hates Russia. Right? Wow. Scott, can you contain yourself? All uh, right, you know, this is another one I just don't mind getting wrong. Okay, Chad has selected his choice. I'm gonna say that. When was this one? Tell me I'm wrong. Chad, you were wrong. Thank you. Max, you were correct. Yes! Let's go! Chad, you about to fucking take this schnapp? Hey! We still have a trivia quiz. I decline. I'm, I'm kidding. You're just gonna be happy with not I'm, having- I'm streaking. Chad, which one of these companies is not German? Okay. A, Heineken, B, Puma, C, Hugo Boss, or D, DHL? <laughs> D, 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 no, Hugo Boss. You think Hugo Boss is not? I'm, I want to say DHL, but that seems way too obvious. Hugo Boss. You're incorrect. The answer is Heineken. Really? Heineken is uh, from the Netherlands. It is? Yeah, that's yeah. a tricky question. Wow. Hey. You don't need to drink mine. Oh. He does. Wait, what? I thought it was if I got it right, Chad drank mine. That's true. Yeah, Chad, you only have to drink one. No, Scott. That's a, no. I knew these rules would be convoluted and fucked. It doesn't taste that bad. You want to try one? Okay. <laughs> Oh! I just want to go on the record to say that I had two big ones. So if I start acting a bit oogly googly, that's why. Your next drink is from Japan. This is sake. Sake is a Japanese beverage made by fermenting rice. It is served warm or cold, depending on the type. The earliest mention of this beverage in history dates back to the year 710. I do like sake. I'm really drunk already. I know where Japan is. Watch me fuck it up. I locked my answer in. All right, Chad, put a pin in it, mate. Fuck, I forget. <laughs> China, yeah, it's right here. Ah. Hey, is that on the country? Let me see. <laughs> hey, no, he chose the ocean. That ocean belongs to Japan. Oh, it does? Fuck. Probably, I'm a fuck. No. It... Japan is the home to the oldest company in the world, Kongo Gumi. Operating since the year 578, what does this company do? Do they A, Come. manufacture boats specializing in fishing and whaling vessels? Too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> B, breed champion horses for war and now for horse racing. C, construction, including temples and shrines. Or D, sake distillery. This is a hard one. Do you want to work together on this one? And I promise I won't throw you off. Okay. You cannot trust this man. Boats. The reason Scott could put that one in there is because he's racist. It's too obvious, so he knew we'd think it was too obvious, so he put it in there as like a double fuck. Because he's racist. A double mind fuck. Because he's racist. So we wouldn't pick it. Because he's racist. Because he's racist. <laughs> 
All the samurais rode on horseback. When were horses invented? Do horses predate boats? It's an age old question. Horse or the temple? Temple. Temple came first? 15 what? years ago was not that long. 15 years? Is that 1500 is that years. What you said? Can you profitize a fucking religion? That's the whole point of it. Do you ever hear of a famous Japanese racehorse? Famous Japanese racist? You're sitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Japanese. Show your answers on three, two, one, go. The correct answer was C. So you both have to finish. What was C? C? Temples. C was temples and shrines. Of course it's Damn religious! It. I thought they would have had fucking slaves doing that for yes. free. Wait, right, what do the Japanese say when they take a fucking shot? Okay, This man was calling me racist like five minutes ago. Yeah! Your next drink is a port from, can you guess? Caribbean. Portugal. Oh, uh, Portugal. Do you know where Portugal is? Do you? Because I may have already told you. When? I pointed to it during another question. When? Where? Where, where, where did you point? I can't tell you. Okay, port is a Portuguese fortified wine produced in northern Portugal. It is typically a sweet red wine often served with dessert and it comes in dry, semi-dry and white varieties. Port fucks you up. Let's have a little sip. Let's Portugal. Mmm. Like Scott said, I go to a fancy restaurant, I have it with my dessert. They sweet taste uh, tarty for the tart. All right, Chad, please point. Mm. Did you guess that or did I? I think that was you. Is that me? What did I think it was? I think you thought that was um, Russia. No, that's Russia. Chad, oh, my only okay. advice I can give you is don't trust Matt. I don't remember where any of them are. Fuck! Portugal. You know where it is. Huh? You fucking nerd. Up all night studying while I'm working <laughs> hard to get a big old fucking board put in place. Here's a clue. I am Chinese. Is that a clue? <laughs> Portugal must have ports, right? Okay, that's actually good analysis, good breakdown, Chad. You eliminated like half the map now. Pirates of the Caribbean happened here. Let's break this down. Pirate Johnny Depp. Stop! This one. No, that's Mexico. This one. Okay, yeah. All right, Chad, this is Portugal. That's what I picked! Did he pick no, that? No, it's fucking not. In my head, I'm like, it must be next to this because you, you said nailed, it earlier. You nailed it. I nearly <laughs> picked it. You nailed it. You, you threw me off by telling me that. <laughs> it looks way too porty as I'm, well. I'm, Portugal, <laughs> Portugal trivia. Which dish, commonly thought of as Japanese in origin, oh. was actually introduced to Japan by Portuguese missionaries in the 16th century? Was it A, sushi, B, Ramen, C, tempura, or D, gyoza. Did you just guess? Yes, I... Three, two, one, show your answers. D and C. Max, one of us should be right. you are incorrect. Fuck! You are correct. I knew it! Seafood! Port! Yeah, Portuguese missionaries showed him how to fry shit. Max, you pick gyoza, and now you okay. must drink. What do I do with mine? Throw it in the bin. Max. I will version a game of Paper, Scissors, Rock. If I win... <laughs> You have to drink both. If I lose, we have to drink one oh, each. You want me to catch up to you? Yes. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors. shoot. <laughs> hey, <laughs> to the Portugals. Oh, that is... Portuguese can make a fucking wine. The next country is India. Oh, my stomach just felt like I got a cannonball drop into it. Fuck. Oh, I think... India's national drink is officially considered to be tea, with only a third of the country's population consuming alcohol regularly. In many parts of India, consuming alcohol is not considered culturally acceptable and is even prohibited by law in some states. Then why does my Indian neighbor always ask me to bring whiskey over? Because he's a legend. Can I phone a friend? Well, we don't have the trivia question yet. <laughs> okay, but it's Indian related. And this is an Indian whiskey. It's not... it's, a, it's an uh, Indian whiskey. Okay. okay. I will now pick India on the map. Okay. With ease. <laughs> I think it's here or here. I can't remember. India's huge, right? Chad, I reckon just pick whatever and... Yes! <laughs> YouTubers. Well done. You are both correct. Oh, shit, yeah! Good work, Chad. Fuck yeah! Good work. India trivia. What is the most commonly spoken language in India? Is it A, English, B, Punjabi, C, Hindi, or D, Arabic? Now, Scott, I'm gonna have to find a friend. All right, let's get your friend on the line. Okay, his name's Annie. Better pick up. <laughs> Annie. No, one, no one wears a million, who wants to be, they don't pick up. <laughs> no, I've never seen that. I think I'm about to. <laughs> Hi, this is Annie. Please leave me a message. Wow. I'll back. Annie, I need you to pick up. I need to know something. It's a question of importance. <laughs> Why is he named after a woman, Chad? Are you really friends with this guy or did you get him out of the phone directory? Yes, I Googled Indian person. <laughs> Trezo, put an Indian person here from Google Images. First result. I think this guy's fake. That's a fake guy. I'm going to put my phone on volume, so if he rings during... Text him and I say... I get to ask him the next question. Doesn't even matter if it's about India or not. Text him and say, my dog is choking. I just, I'll say that. I'm looking at footage right now of Chad looking at the map in the Cool Shirts office when he was claiming to get water. <laughs>
<laughs> Are you serious? Field research. I <laughs> played the security footage. Max got an hour to research last night. I didn't. Finland, Sweden, Norway. They seem important. UK, Ireland knew that. Mexico kind of matters. Norway, Sweden, Finland. I really need to know those because we haven't done those yet. And I feel like that's where alcohol comes from. Egypt, Liberia. They're not allowed to drink there. Oh, I'm good. See this? I'm an explorer, bro. I was exploring the world map. That's fucked up. Yeah, mine's Punjabi, so B. We've both got B. We're not gonna give some suspense. You both selected B. B. You are both incorrect. Wow. English! The answer is Hindi. Fuck you! Damn, if he actually answered the phone, he probably would have been able to tell me that. To the Punjabi people. Hell yeah! Less rough. Okay, your next drink is from Italy. It is called Grappa. Grappa is a fragrant grape-based pomace brandy of Italian origin. It is made by distilling the skins, pulp, seeds, and stems left over after winemaking. That's kind of fucked up. This is the vegan version of a sausage. Can I just admit something real quick? <laughs> you know how sausages are like, oh yeah, they um, scrape all the hooves and fucking cocks and, and they tails the of the shit. It all goes into the sausage. This is like the fucking vine, the stem. Yep. All the garbage part of the grape goes into this. This is the vegan sausage of Italy. Seconds ago when I walked in that office to look at the map and cheat, I looked at Italy and I said, I need to remember where that is. Don't remember. Can I give you a, t a clue? Please. Your clue is, it looks like a boot. It looks like Woody's cowboy boot. Does that look like a boot? Yes. That looks like an Ugg boot. Then Italy's here. <laughs> That's really <laughs> not... Ah! <laughs> I should have said that was a good boot. That's Italy. That's Italy right there. That is right, Chad. Good work. Thanks, mate. I good, get that right. Good Please. Work. I get that. Yes, you got that correct. Fuck! Ah, yes. All right, what's the trivia, Scott? Inside the country of Italy, there is another country Boot. that is officially recognized as the smallest country in the world. <laughs> I know this. What is this country I name? I know this. A, Little Italy, B, Monaco, C, Vatican City, or D, Pompeii. I'm ready. Joe, you are both correct. Vatican City is the country. I was hoping Chad would pick Little Italy. How did you know that? Euro trip the movie. Uh... So we don't have to drink these? No! Thank God, because smell them. Yeah, those fucking drinks suck and yeah, they're they awful. Stink. Your next drink is from Ireland. I'm ready. I know where that is. Guinness is an Irish dry stout that originated in 1759. It is one of the most successful alcohol brands worldwide, brewed in almost 50 countries and available in over 120. Sales in 2011 amounted to 850 million liters. It is the best selling alcoholic drink in Ireland, where Guinness and Co. Brewery makes almost 2 billion pounds worth of beer annually. That's oh, the currency, not sorry. the weight. Oh, really? I'm gonna piss off a bunch of Irish people right now. This shit sucks. Is this the one with the ball in it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was an invasion between two parts of England and the Scottish were involved. I'm gonna say that right there is Scotland. Wait, it's from Irish? Oh, it's Irish. The Irish joined in. Ireland or Scotland are close. That's Ireland right there. Okay, you're selecting that specific part? No, this one. What? Okay. Or is it this part? Oh, fuck, I don't know. It's this one or this one? I'll give you a clue. I am Chinese. Okay. Just pick one, mate. Just pick one. It's this one. That one? Yeah. Locked it in? Okay. Yeah, cool. Max, pick one. Max. What am I finding again? Ireland. Ireland. Oh, actually, it might be this you one. You can't change it now. Scotland or Ireland? I don't know which one was which. Scotland is within here. Oh, so it's that one, that small one. So that's Ireland. Ireland. Is... <laughs> I fucking knew it! No! That's Ireland. <laughs> What did you pick? I picked here. That's France. But I thought about it. Every time I have the fucking goddamn That's fucking laser pointer, I think too much. <laughs> This man selected France for his choose a character. One fucking sip of Irish Oh, beer. Chad, do you know the rule? Chad, you could have gotten out of that with a trivia question. Yeah, if there's a French thing coming up, that's France. Yeah. I was hovering, I had the laser pointer on it. I was like, this is it, right? And then Scott was like, you're hovering between two. I was like, man, you confused me now. Chad, do you have to drink mine? No. <laughs> <laughs> Trivia time. You already drank yours, you bastard. Pour me another. No, 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 no. <laughs> there you go. You get the rest of it. Thanks, mate. Which one of these animals can you not find in Ireland? Okay, shit. A, Cow. cows. B, frogs. <laughs> C, magpies. Or D, snakes. Okay. Yeah. All right, three, two, one, go. Um, you're both wrong. This magpie is in Ireland? Yes. I thought those were literally Australian fucking birds. I mean, they're in Australia, but they're, they're also in Ireland. What doesn't it have? Snakes. It doesn't have snakes. And also there's a legend that St. Patrick drove them into the sea. Ugh, the oh, that's ah. rough. Okay, paper, scissors, rock. You drink both? No, one. But if not, you drink both. Because if we drank one. Paper, paper scissors, scissors, go. go. Oh, no! 
that's so bad. I hate that so much. There you much. go, mate. Sucker up. To Ireland. What do they do? Potato. <laughs> yeah, except for a brief period where they really didn't do potato. <laughs> what else did they do? Uh, a bunch of terrorism. To the terrorists. To RSS. <laughs> Oh, that's tough as fuck. That's worse than a spirit. I know, it it's horrible. That's worse than Yo, a spirit. Max, I believe, man, you lost. Here we go. So I'm going to step away for this one. Here we go. This is proof how bad Guinness is. Fresh air, buddy. Oh, I literally was not thinking. <laughs> I was out to lunch. I would rather scull vodka. In front of you is a Pisco from Chile. Piss! Pisco oh. is a brandy produced in winemaking regions of Peru and Chile, made by distilling fermented grape juice into a high proof spirit. It was developed by 16th century Spanish settlers. It is debated whether Pisco originated in Peru or Chile, as both countries claim it as their national drink. But this one is from Chile. All right, Max. Where's this from, fucker? Chile. Chile. Listen, you fuckers. I'll go first. Okay, you go first, but I know where it is. I'm at literally, I'm telling you guys, Learning is fun. You're selecting that? What the fuck? Chad is correct. That's Chile. How did you know that? Because it looks like a chili. This motherfucker has been to space. Have you all seen Markiplier in space? I haven't watched it yet. It's on my to-do list. I haven't either, but I've seen the billboard. <laughs> Why is there so much construction sound? Chad's ripping up the rules. Did you even drink Good it? Trivia. No. You what didn't the drink fuck? It? This is a drinking game, game. Open game room style. Oh, open game style. Oh. Okay, which one of these famous actors is Chilean? Fuck! A. Ana Diamas. Who the fuck? B. Antonio Banderas. That sounds familiar. C. Pedro Pascal. That. Or D. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Fake. He's Samoan. Ana Diamas. That's the chick that is in um, Modern Family. Are you thinking of Sofia Vergara? That's the one in Modern Family. <laughs> Oi, do you know Chris's uh, golf, uh, Laura's boyfriend, Chris? You met Chris? He's come and helped us. <laughs> yeah, I know. Do you know he's from Chile? No. It might literally be The Rock for a laugh. Scott's having a laugh. Now he says Samoan blood in my veins. I'm calling yeah, the Samoan You can be blood. Samoan and Chilean. Motherfucker have chili in his veins and Samoan. He ate his chili. Can I call Chris? Yeah, you can call one? Chris. Chris who? Chris. From Mr. Beast? No, Chris that comes in and helps us. Oh, with Mr. Beast. Chris, we have a question. <laughs> I'm so hey, fucking we, we're drunk. We're drinking alcohol from Chile and you're Chilean, right? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. am. Which one of these actors is from Chile? Go, Scott. Ana de Armas, Ana Antonio Diamas. Banderas, Pedro Pascal, or The Rock? Either Pisco or The Rock. Really? What? I thought The Rock was Samoan. Pedro Pascal sounds pretty Chilean. Yeah. That's C, Pedro Pascal. Sca C, C. All right, Chris, if you're wrong, I'm going to be so angry. All right, we're locking in C. We're going for C. Thanks, gentlemen. All right, later, boys. All right, locking in C. Hey, okay, Chad, you selected C? C. All right, that answer is correct. Yes! yes! Good work, bro. Oh, thank you, Chris. Good fucking work. Did all he say was, that sounds like the country. Yeah, he does. He was like, that That's sounds it. Chilean. That's right. Put it back in the Take bottle. Take this away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Uh, Matt, Max. I'm faking. I'm joking. Uh, are you joking? Okay, thank God. Uh, I think some of it rubbed off on the inside of my mouth. Wait, our food's question. been dropped off. Can we eat? Have I picked one wrong or am I just drunk from trivia? You're crushing it, bro. You're sexy. Max, you have a green oh, yeah. dot on your lip. You know yeah. a guy that had one of those? I actually do have um, herpes. My friend that got green dot on the lip, a uh, gout. You know, her <laughs> you know herpes um, on the lip is different than herpes. And so I, if I kiss my girlfriend with a cold sore, she won't get herpes on her. No, completely different thing. Been trying so hard. Scott, I'm ready. Okay, your next drink is a Riga Black Balsam from Latvia. The Riga Black Balsam is a traditional Latvian herbal liquor, often considered to be the national drink of Latvia. It is made using several ingredients, including black currant, cherries, and peppermint. Well, that sounds good, but I will say, this is the first one I don't know where Latvia is. But I might be too drunk. I might know if I was sober. It looks fucking good though. Did you say black cherry? That smells like cherry. Not that bad. Can we do this one who's closest to Latvia? How the normal rules work. All right. Really? I've just never got one wrong. You're picking now? That one right there, you see it? Yeah. All right, Max, your turn. I have absolutely no idea. I'm gonna go with that one, the purple one. Fuck! I'm just guessing. Exactly. Scott, who's closest? Chad really? is closest. What? Where is it? It's either this one or this one, but either way, Chad wins. Oh, uh, yes. I remember looking at Latvia and thinking, that's a funny name. Okay, which one of these clothing items was invented by C. a Latvian? C. A, the t-shirt. B, jeans. C, puffer jacket. 
or D, Top Hat? <laughs> top Hat? Top Hat came from the UK. There's no way they randomly invented the t-shirt. I go see, I forget what it is. You're both wrong. What is it? Jeans. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oi, Scott, for the record? No, for the record? No, but, wait, yeah. for the record, my first answer was jeans, but it's right next to Russia. It must be cold, right? Chad be like- To Latvia. To Latvia. And motherfuckers wear jeans. To my friend Maris from Latvia. To Maris. They wear jeans. That's pretty good if you're talking about hospital grade fucking cleaner. <laughs> Scott, yep. you have a green jo back, dot on your back. I knew a guy that had one of those. My cousin had that. He had back problems. He had spinal bifida. Hey Fuck. Google, what is spinal bifida? According to Mayo Clinic, a birth defect in which a developing baby's spinal cord fails to develop properly. That is so sad. I'm sorry guys who have that, who's watching. Scott, what is the next one? Okay. The next one is- Scott, before you continue, you have a green dot in your head and you're a guy like that. My cousin had that. Brain tumor. Yes. Okay. My cousin had a green dot. He had cataracts. The next continue. drink and the final drink is from Hungary. It is called cum liquor. Cum liquor? It is a Hungarian herbal <laughs> liquor or bitters drunk as a digestive and aperitif. Oi, you gotta respect the Hungarian liquor. It's in South Africa. Hungary? I thought I was with China. The liquor is being poured. Did you remove something from this? I may have removed part of the full that name just of the beverage. <laughs> <laughs> Please taste it. It tastes like calm. Chad? Like a tiny mouth. Like it's a little bit. Like, you like, you like, you like, you like. Oh, yeah, I well, that's the strongest one yet. Is that Scott, that is my answer right there. Okay. I don't remember anything anymore. I'm going to go for this orange one. Okay, I definitely know that I'm the closest. That is Mongolia. Max is the closest. And really? I knew it. I think it's this one. Really? That one there. Fuck, I'm getting Mongolia and hungry confused. Oh, Max, would you like to opt in for the final? Time. I'll opt in if after this, everybody does a double shot. Fine, yeah, whatever. Fuck okay, you. Yeah. Good, good, good. okay, the Hungarian equivalent of the boogie man is the Rez Fazu Bagoli, <laughs> a giant owl with one of these distinct features. Legs. Is it A, a poisonous beak? Cock. Big B, cock. B, eyes that can see through time. C, feathers made of human flesh. Or D, a copper penis. I'm gonna go for D. Here. I think Scott may have planted that one, but also it sounds real. Copper cock. I mean, you did say a big cock before I, I even read that part. Right. I'm going for the obvious generic answer. Can I just do a triangle? That's a D. Chad is correct. Copper cock? <laughs> it's a big copper cock. Are you serious? <laughs> Drink up. Drink up. What does it do with it? They leave it up to the imagination, I think. I, I'm going to finish this. And remember, you and you have to drink a double shot. Let's go. This is yours. That's fucked. Just go hard. Hey, to the, to, to the Hungarians. All right, boys. Uh, hey guys, L listen, we just explored the world and then we recalled all of our events. We've just gone through our maps and turns out we're the greatest explorers in the world. Thank you for joining us for our geography lesson. Make sure you press like. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs> cut, cut there and put the black Patreon slash. <laughs>